In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Glary Telecaster guitar. Now this is an £80 guitar. Uh, it's been kindly sent to me by Glary to test out. And the first thing that you notice is it looks pretty good. But is it any good is the question. The interesting thing with this as it was sent, my son um, opened up the box. And the first thing he said was, Dad, can I have this guitar? So he, he claimed it straight away that he wanted it. And it does look really nice with the, the maple neck bolt on. And the wood does look nice. And it's got a nice finish to it. Now, bear in mind, this is an £80 guitar. In the comments, generally what you'll find is a whole bunch of people saying that they've got a USA Fender Stratocaster. Yes, but this is an £80 guitar, so it's not going to compare to a, a, a guitar that. Some people say get a Squire. Again, they are more expensive. So if you're a beginner and you want something that looks really nice, even if you didn't play, I suppose it would look nice uh, hanging on the wall. Uh, but, but bear that in mind when you consider the price of the guitars. It makes you wonder how they can make guitars that cheaply. You think a packet of strings would cost you between six and ten pound. So for eighty pound, you get a guitar. Now I'm plugged into a practice amp with a little, few little effects, slight overdrive. Uh, bear that in mind as well, because some people buy practice amps with no effects, and uh, it just basically amplifies the guitar. So with this is now the first thing you tune it up. So if I put volume tone, you've got the select that switch. A single coil turns both pickups on and then you've got your neck pickup on as well and as you heard it's playing a crazy little thing called love solo pick the bridge um, pick up and it's got quite a sharp now if I changed it to the the neck pickup it's got a much warmer and it's got quite a warm sound for that. Them kind of arpeggios, but very sharp. So there's quite a contrast between them. You've got the two on. Quite a contrast in tones. I do like the feel. Now I haven't even altered this one. It comes with the Allen key and the, the guitar, the gig bag in the strap. And Allen keys to adjust things. I haven't actually adjusted anything. And perhaps could do with a little adjustment of lower on it, but I haven't lowered it. It's still easy to play. Um, <laughs> quite liking this guitar um, so if you're a learner and you're going for your classic Thank you. 
So in conclusion, I think for the price, it's a really good guitar. I did try the Stratocaster out a good while ago and felt as if um, it went out of tune a bit. This one, as you can see, I've been doing a lot of... Like string bending, and it seems to hold its tune pretty good. Because uh, a lot of cheaper guitars, that's one of the problems with them is that um, they go out of tune and you're constantly having to, having to tune it up. But this one seems to hold its tune, and it must admit it, it looks like a it looks like a really nice nice guitar. And I was pleasantly surprised. Sound wise, obviously I'm playing through a practice amp, and I'm getting a pretty decent sound. And I like the fact that there's a big contrast between the pickups. Sometimes you can find that you can hardly hear any difference. Yeah, that's very sharp that's very warm and i think for a beginner guitar it's ideal and um, the neck feels really comfortable as well sometimes with cheaper guitars i remember a student who bought i think it was a xenon guitar they bought from argos it's about 130 pound on it and it was horrible you couldn't tune it the machine had kind of tightened up horribly it was like the action was sky high you couldn't Bend this was almost impossible to play. This feels feels really comfortable, and, and I was I was really surprised at how good it is. So this one, my son's going to be. If you ever watch Charlie learns guitar, he packed in playing, and uh, he's uh, the other day I heard uh, and playing Nirvana on me classical guitar and. Um, something in the way to learn to detune it and play that so he's taking a good guitar and he'll probably be learning uh, again on this one so um a lot of people have asked where charlie learns guitar has gone uh, he's a big lad he's 17 now he's not the same height as me and um so he will be probably appearing on this channel at some point although looking a lot different to what he did a couple of years ago as a little boy uh, but he will be using this one to learn on. He's claimed it. And I'm not surprised because it looks a really nice guitar. I'll put all of the uh, the features and the links to where to buy it in the description of this video. And as always, thank you for watching.